In today's Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, we're gonna be talking about which SD cards you need to record 400 megabit all intra on your GH5 running version two of the firmware. Now, if all you wanna know is which cards to buy, I'm gonna tell you that right after the opening segment. But if you wanna know more information about why that's the card to choose, why other cards may not work as well as expected, and also if you wanna learn what all those funny little numbers mean on the cards, we're gonna go into all of that throughout the show. But if all you wanna know is which cards to buy, we're gonna tell you that in just a moment. And of course, if you do decide to buy a card based off this show, please Please do scroll down and grab one of our affiliate links down below. Good morning, welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first almost daily live show every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, no longer every weekday morning here on YouTube at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, talking about all things photo, video, live streaming. If it's got a camera, it's fair game, that's the way we look at it here. So today we're talking about which memory cards you need to run to record 400 megabit all intra on your GH5 running version two firmware. And as I promised in the opening, we're gonna go straight into which cards and then we're gonna get into the reasons why. So here we go, recommendation number one. It comes off of a brand called Angelbird. Now you may have not heard of this before. I actually had not heard of these before myself. Angelbird cards are the only cards that through all my research and talking to all my sources, we've come up with being an absolute 100% compatible. These cards work. Now Panasonic has their own cards, the Panasonic branded cards, but as most of you know, they're really expensive. They honestly were not made for mass consumption. They were really made as a proof of concept. Panasonic had to have, had to make sure that cards were available at the time of shipping of the camera, and so they made them without ever any intention of mass producing them. Angelbird is the brand to get if you want total compatibility. And there's two different cards. You've got the Angelbird 64 gigabyte. This is a V90 class card, and this is priced at $95. This is on B&H, and of course these prices may change depending on when you're watching this. They also have a 128 gigabyte version, V90, priced at $200, so basically doubling the price there. Now that is choice number one. Second choice, and I'm gonna tell you why this is a second choice. Second choice is to go to the Delkin cards. Now Delkin has both V60 and V90, and we will be going into the differences later on here. The V60 though is a 60 megabyte per second, 90 means 90 megabyte per second. It's important to remember that 400 megabit is 50 megabytes. So 60 megabytes is enough, it's more than 50, you should be good. You gotta add a little bit for audio, not much, and you want a little bit of overhead. So 60 technically should work, and even Panasonic says you want V60 or above, so you should be fine with the V60s. So let me run through these things, and I'm gonna tell you why these are second choice. We've got 64 V60s from Delkin at $55, so we're talking almost half the price. You've got 128 gigs, V60s at 95, 96, and you've got the 256 gig V60s at $200. So again, half the price or double the capacity for the money. Delkin also makes V90 cards. So these are basically the same price as the, um, the Angel Wings that we we're looking at. Angel, did I say that right? Angel, Angel Bird, not Angel Wings, sorry. And these guys are coming in at, let's go to the V90 again, uh, basically the same price, so $90 for a 65 gig V90 from Delkin and $220 for a V90 128 gig. There is no 256 gig in the V90 from either of these manufacturers. There's one card that I found of a brand that I'd never heard of before, so I don't have any information on how good they are, so we're gonna bring up that brand at the very end of the show. Now, why, oh, oh, one other thing about Delkin, Delkin is apparently, I can't get 100% confirmation on this, but Delkin and ProMaster are uh, probably the same company, maybe same card, same manufacturing process. They appear to be the same. ProMaster, I cannot find in the United States other than in, uh, well, at least at the big stores, B&H and Amazon. I found old, like really slow cards for point and shoot cameras on Amazon from ProMaster. Maybe ProMaster is available in your region. So they should basically be the equivalent of the Delkins. So why are these cards, especially at V60 being half the price, not the number one choice? because even though they record fine, when you stop recording, when you're shooting uh, when you're shooting 4K 60p, when you stop recording, it can take up to five seconds for the file to close. Now, file closing means that everything is done writing to the card, the wrapper is completed, you have everything on the card and you're ready to play back or to continue shooting. It can take up to five seconds on these cards. However, on the Angel Bird cards, again, make sure I got the right, Angel Bird, on the Angel Bird cards, it closes within a second, which is what it's supposed to do. So on the Angel Birds, the files close within a second, as they're supposed to, it should never take longer than that. 
on the Delkin and ProMaster cards, they're taking up to five seconds to close. Why is this? It points to a possible problem with the controller, and this is the important part of it. This is why these are not first choice cards. The controller may have issues. That five second closure is not supposed to happen. It'll still work. Your file will close fine, but you may have issues with it. So there's your recommendation. Angel Birds are first choice. The Delkin or ProMasters are your second choice, and you can save money going to the B60s on those. So that is that. So now, deep breath. Let's get into all the reasonings behind this. 